Hello and welcome to this video about using Simplygon with Unity's LOD group component. In this video we will optimize this sofa asset. As you can see it has quite a lot of polygons. To choose which LOD we want to display to the camera we're going to use Unity's LOD group component. The LOD level displayed is determined by how much of the screen height that is being covered by the model's bounding box. If our screen height is 1080, that means that the first LOD level, if we want it at 60%, will be at 648 pixels, and our second at 20% would be at 216. Go to the Simplygon window, select Add LOD Component, go to Advanced, and then Reduction. Expand the Reduction settings. Here we're going to use reduction target on screen size instead of reduction ratio. Put in the screen size we calculated earlier. Press the top gear and choose to add a cascaded LOD pipeline using the same advanced reduction pipeline. We're going to use target on screen size and our 216 pixels target. A cascaded LOD pipeline will use the previous LOD as input. This reduces the processing time required and also can help with minimize the difference between LODs, reducing LOD popping. Once that is done, press the big button to start processing. We can see that we got two LODs back from Simplygon. We can remove the UDS components and material child nodes from them to clean them up. To further clean up we can reuse the materials from LOD0 to our imported LODs. Now it's time to put them together. Now add a parent node and drag all of our LOD sofas underneath it. Add a LOD group component, set the first threshold to 60 and the second to 20. We also removed the culling threshold. We assign the different LOD renderers to the different LOD levels in our LOD group. By using screen size instead of reduction ratio or triangle count, we take away the guessing work for when we should switch between the different LOD levels. Even if we look closely, we cannot see when it switches between different LOD levels. To create a prefab out of our sofa, simply drag it to the project folder then we can drag out this prefab and we will have nicely loaded sofas everywhere in our game. That is all for today. If you want to know more about how to increase your game's performance with Simplygon, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you.